life. A friend here. Just a bit shy, so. Come hmm? In today's video, I wanted to talk about recovery, recovery after having a C-section. As you know, I've had a an emergency cesarean. If you want to check my previous video, I talk about my labor experience in detail, so you can check it out. Before I start, please don't forget to support my channel, subscribe, like this video, share this video, and do all these nice things. Having a C-section can be very painful. It's, it's, it's a major abdominal operation and you have to look after yourself after you have your cesarean and all that in order to heal so I've got a few tips for you to help you recover quicker from a c-section so number one tip walk and move gently after you have your c-section so what I did what what they advised me to do at the hospital I had the cesarean section at about 10 in the morning and they told me it would be good if I start walking in the evening which that didn't happen because I think they were just busy they didn't have time to come for me and help me get up a lady helped me at about 5 o'clock in the morning the next day to get up from bed and and she helped me to make a few steps and then I sat on the chair that was next to my bed so that was the first step I did after my c-section and I sat there for a few hours and then I went back to bed and on that day I started walking and I would walk back and forth in the in my room I would go to use the loo needless to say it was very painful i was feeling very sore and um i had to walk very very slow so i will have to walk like a an old lady which which is which is fine because you are in pain and and that's what is advised anyway so you have to do some walking and get yourself moving that's when you're gonna start feeling better because the, the more I sit down the more I will sit down especially the first few days and then I stood up the pain will be just too much and the, the pain will come back and then if I find myself moving in the house and doing things then I will feel much better so yeah so another tip is to wear some comfortable clothes so I, I swear by my joggers. I just love jogging bottoms. They are so easy to put on and um, they are so comfortable. Or wear some long t-shirts or a dress that is an oversized t-shirt or dress. And also wear some uh, high-waisted knickers that are not tight and, are, and knickers that are breathable. Don't wear the ones that will that will be on, the, on your bikini line because that's where the operation is and you don't want you to be feeling the cut there you know imagine that the knicker rubbing against the cut it wouldn't feel nice at all it would be very painful so another tip to recover and not to infect the area there is to not do not wash with soap on the area that you had the operation in the first few days, the first was the first five days, I had the dressing on. I could still shower and do all that, but I would avoid to put soap on that area. And when you finish showering, just pat dry it, and that's it. Uh, and after they remove the dressing, I will still do the same. I will wash my body with, with soap in other areas apart from that area, and. Um, and yeah, once I finish the shower, you just pat dry. Don't don't be too harsh, because obviously that will be painful. Another tip 
if you had a cesarean you're gonna notice that when you laugh when you cough when you sneeze when you do when you blow your nose you feel the pains on where you were operated and it's horrible i could not laugh like uh, it's just crazy it's, it's it's a torture wanting to laugh but you feel the pain it's just it's it's not a nice feeling so just a tip you just get a pillow and put it against the area there so when you want to laugh or you know sneeze or whatever you just kind of gently squeeze the area there so you don't feel as much pain because this shit hurts I'm telling you also get as much painkillers as possible but don't overdo it obviously and at the hospital they will give me ibuprofen and painkill um, and paracetamol and they only gave me they gave me morphine once but yeah keep keep getting painkillers if you feel you know too much pain and I think paracetamol and ibuprofen is safe especially if you're breastfeeding you don't want to get other painkillers so yeah get advice from your doctor on that and you should be fine with paracetamol and ibuprofen but always seek advice from your doctor another tip is to um, sleep on the side or uh, on your back during the night so basically I hate sleeping on my back so I will sleep on my side but even rolling on my side and getting comfortable is, 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 is so much work and it's so painful it's, you feel the pains with every movement you make and um, having a pregnancy pillow actually let me show you I have it here this pregnancy pillow I just love it I used to use it three out throughout my pregnancy to feel comfortable and uh, I will I use it when I breastfeed as well and I still use it now especially when I had all this um, pain from the cesarean it will just help me feel a bit more comfortable so that's the pillow and it was very cheap as well it was from a website called online for babies something like that it's about 14 pounds it's very cheap so um, it's a good it's a good thing to have and um, and yeah I will sleep on my side and have the pillow between my legs just to ease the pressure from the pelvic area so I don't feel the soreness of the surgery as much so so yeah pregnancy pillow you still need it talking about sleep getting in bed it's kind of easier than getting off from the bed get it get it getting up from bed it's, it's so that was the worst for me uh, I will feel like a seriously I my husband at times will help me roll on the side and um, he will help me get up pull me from bed but if you don't have anyone around i would advise to put your to kind of shuffle your legs um, and put them on the ground and then with your elbow um, to support yourself and push yourself on the side in order for you to get up that's what I would do it's still painful but it's not I think other if you do it any other way it will, it will, it will hurt more so that was this less painful way to do it but it will still hurt it's, it's like I will feel that someone is taking is taking my stitches out that's the pains I will feel and I was scared I didn't want to put too much pressure because I thought that you know that the wound will open up 
so yeah that that's that's all you can do really if you are by yourself and and it's hard man it's it's, it's just hard going through an operation and all you want to do is rest but having a baby you have to take care of that baby so you can't really rest as much as you wish for so it's not easy another tip don't drive yet you have to wait for like about six weeks until your doctor clear you up yeah so don't drive and don't lift heavy things don't do too much um, housework forget about housework to be honest well I'm telling that to my I'm I'm telling that to myself because I didn't know I, I will still do house from the second day that I go home from the hospital I will still do housework and all that because I just can't stand mess even if I'm in pain I still can't stand the mess you know and I feel that I have to get up and and you know do all that but do not do what I do yeah just try and rest as much as you can and gently move around the house obviously don't exercise yet that all that can wait you need to first you need to um, make sure you recover also eat and drink well that will help you a lot especially if you're breastfeeding is exhausting so when you get the time eat drink and rest eat and drink and rest you need the energy you need the vitamins you need all the nutrients you can have so and also eat fiber eat fiber and eat fruits eat salads and why I'm saying that after the cesarean section you are gonna be constipated I was not constipated at all throughout my break my pregnancy I was not I was drinking so much water I was drinking about three and a half liters a day I don't know how but I was drinking that much I found myself that now I think now I don't drink as much water and I'm regretting it because um, water is good man I did not get any constipation at all and I was eating fruits and yeah I was not constipated but when you have a cesarean you cannot be constipated so eat your fiber eat your fruit eat your veggies and drink loads of water for your first poo it's gonna be it's not gonna be a nice experience it's gonna be difficult I sat in the toilet for like half an hour trying to you know poo it was so difficult I was so constipated so I had to get laxatives um, normally hospital give it to you so this is what they gave me I'm regretting it that I was not having it every day I did not use the loo for a poo for like five days and on the fifth day that's when I felt that I wanted to go and that was the day that I had a bit of laxative in the morning and but still it, man it was so hard for me to poo and uh, after I was struggling in the toilet I got a few shots of the laxative I think I got six you know shots of the laxative and then boom god it was it was a nice but thank god he helped me go now I'm not constipated and I think I'm not constipated anymore but I think um, I used to do better when I was pregnant I would go to the loo every single day almost every single day and it was not an effort for me to just you know poo but now I feel like it's a bit of a struggle and I don't go as much as I used to go which I don't think is good and I think I need to improve my diet and have a bit more fruit 
because now I don't eat it as much as I used to when I was pregnant so yeah so anyway guys that was the video for today I hope these tips helped you a little bit to recover and feel a bit better we see videos everywhere about you know recovery after having a natural birth we don't see as many videos you know talking about c-section so that's what I want that's why I wanted to do this video and I was not even prepared for a c-section because in my head I knew that oh I'm gonna have a natural birth but you know things worked out differently so yeah that these are my tips for you I'm about two and a half weeks postpartum and I feel much better like I don't feel as sore as I used to um, and I actually started feeling much better after a week of having the cesarean so if you are worried about how long it would take you to feel better don't worry you will get better sooner than you think you're gonna be able to just be on your feet and take care of your beautiful baby Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.